creating an ascension model to help increase profitability on your pay-per-click marketing campaigns. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video I'm speaking about how you can improve profitability to your pay-per-click marketing campaigns by having an ascension model set up on your website. Now just in case you don't know, pay-per-click marketing is essentially what it says on the tin. It's when you're paying every time someone clicks on an advertisement that you have placed. Now the most common form of pay-per-click marketing is actually Google's AdSense and you might notice that when you type something into Google Google, you see a bunch of ads that come up at the top of Google search results. Now this is actually somebody paying to be advertised there and when you click on that advertisement, they're actually being charged. You can actually make use of this as a business owner as well and you can actually send pay-per-click traffic back to your website. Google AdSense is just one platform that you can use to send pay-per-click marketing traffic back to your site but there's a bunch of different websites as well that are high quality traffic sources like Facebook for instance that also use pay-per-click marketing as a method to actually sell you traffic back to your website. But pay-per-click marketing can be quite expensive and if you're not careful you can fall into the trap of actually paying more for your ad spend than you're actually getting back in revenue in return and actually making a loss rather than making a profit and a lot of people kind of just abandon their pay-per-click marketing campaigns because it's not turning over any kind of profit for them. However you need to think of your pay-per-click marketing in the same way as your sales funnel. Now I have a video on sales funnels and I'll leave that in the description down below. It's one of the most important videos on my YouTube channel and essentially you want to set up an ascension model because with your pay-per-click marketing campaigns your mindset should be you want to acquire a customer not just generate a sale. I want you to think about how Amazon actually market their website. When they actually acquire somebody new that person is hopefully going to buy from them again and again and again and they're not just going to use their website once. Whenever you buy a product from Amazon for the first time, they will actually capture your name and your email address and send you products that are related to the product that you have bought. They will also send you um, their offers that they have during Christmas or during Easter or during whatever season it might be because their aim is to get you back to their website. So let's say for example the first time you ever visit Amazon was because you was looking for an electric toothbrush and then you googled electric toothbrush and one of Amazon's pay-per-click marketing campaigns show up and you click on it and you actually purchase that toothbrush. That might be the first purchase that you have from Amazon and let's say it cost Amazon about 80 pence when you clicked on their advertisement and let's say for argument say that the toothbrush was 50 pence then in theory Amazon have lost 30 pence marketing to you. However, they're going to try and upsell you. You might notice that when you're on Amazon their products actually say people who bought this also bought that because they're trying to upsell you. Once they actually um, get you to their website after their campaign, they're trying to upsell you. And even if they don't immediately upsell you, they're going to send you emails, follow up emails and follow up sequences of products similar to the ones that you've purchased, not just shortly after you've purchased, but years after you've purchased, they're trying to get you back to their site to actually spend more than you initially came to spend. You can create the same kind of model on your website when doing a pay-per-click campaign, and I want you to start thinking of your pay-per-click marketing campaigns as a way to acquire a customer, someone who you can send back to your website on a consistent basis to make more purchases, rather than just trying to make an off-the-bat sale. And don't get me wrong, those off the bat sales are important as well because you wanna at least break even with your pay-per-click marketing campaigns, but the money when doing pay-per-click marketing is normally on the back end when you're actually following up with your customers or with your leads and when you're generating sales through your email list after acquiring someone as a lead or as a customer. This will all make a lot more sense to you after watching my sales funnel video, so make sure you go and check that out. But essentially, the first product that you offer to someone after after your pay-per-click campaign might be a tripwire product or a lead magnet which is either a free product or a cheap product and this just kind of gets them to being a customer but once they're on your email list and once they've 
purchase their first products from you, you actually want to send them emails and try and get them back to your website to actually make bigger purchases or to just consistently purchase from your site. And this way, it's easier to recoup your pay-per-click marketing spend. I'm going to be putting more videos out about pay-per-click marketing and how you can do it more profitably. So make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and click that bell notification button as well so you don't miss when those videos go live. But if this video has helped you out, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day and I will see you soon.